is that? Hi, friend. Hey. Welcome to another at home face formation. We are so excited that you are here today. We are in Evan's Play Kitchen and we are practicing to get ready for Thanksgiving dinner. <gasps> Ooh, do you have a play kitchen at home? What kinds of things do you like to make in your kitchen? Today we're gonna make some mac and cheese and some mashed potatoes and gravy, some green bean casserole, some carrots and some pie. All kinds of stuff that's really good to have for Thanksgiving dinner. What kind of stuff do you like to have for Thanksgiving dinner? Is there anything, anything special your family likes to make? I heard Pastor Glenn might make grilled salmon at his house. I heard some other people may just skip regular Thanksgiving and order out fancy things like good tacos. I like good tacos. <laughs> what do you like? If you look around at what we're making, what are we missing if we want to have Thanksgiving dinner? We forgot the turkey! <laughs> what is it? <laughs> the turkeys are on my shirt. <laughs> Would you like to help us make a turkey? Yes. All right, all you need to help us to make a turkey is your hands. <laughs> so, to make the feathers, take one hand. Stick it out like this and make all the feathers. And then this, pop it down. Yep. Then on your other hand, make the head. And then the rest of your hand is the body. And then pop it on and it looks like a turkey. A turkey, 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 <laughs> the turkey, turkey, turkey. And then we have a song that goes with it. It goes, hello, Mr. Turkey, how are you? Hello, Mr. Turkey, how are you? With a gobble, 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 and a wobble, wobble, wobble. Hello, Mr. Turkey, how are you? Well, we are practicing making all this food because this year we have to make the whole dinner. <laughs> we come from a really big family. Oh my and usually, I pick one or two items off of a list and make it for 30-some people. I usually make the stuffing or the pecan pie. But this year, we have to have our Thanksgiving dinner just for our small family, and I have to make everything. Are you guys having that same thing at your house? Maybe it makes you a little sad. And that's okay. It's okay to say I'm a little sad I don't get to see Grandma and Grandpa. I'm a little sad I don't get to see all my cousins, and that's okay. But I really need to see <laughs> all my cousins. But the best part of it is that we get to find oh. new ways to make it fun, and new ways to have this Thanksgiving be special just with our own families mm -hmm. in our own house. Well, in our Bible story today, the people were a little sad. In it. Now again, a oh, bummer. In the story isn't in our blue book. It's in only it. in the old book. So if you want to read this week's Bible story, you have to download it on the website. And it will look like this. It's called A Good Ruler. And in our story, there is a guy named Jeremiah. Can you say Jeremiah? Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Now your parents might know a song about a bullfrog named Jeremiah, but that's not the same guy. Mm. <laughs> Jeremiah was somebody who shared the good news and the people of Israel were kind of sad. Evan, can you show me a sad face? Mm, they were kind of sad. So Jeremiah came mm. to talk to them and said, I know we're all kind of sad, but remember the good old days when we had a really good king named David? David was the best king ever. Oh. Remember David? He was a little shepherd boy. He became king of Israel. He defeated Goliath. He built the temple. He was the best king ever. Remember him in the great days? Those days are coming again. There's going to be a new ruler who's going to be just as great, even better. He's going to teach us how to have peace on earth. And just we can remember the past, we can look forward to the future, and right now, even though we're sad, we can find peace and hope. And this is a great Bible story 
for today. Because even though maybe times are a little sad, a little frustrating. I, I peek. <laughs> we know of a really great king that is coming next month. Who is that? Who is it that we look forward to coming next month in December? Specifically on December 25th. Who do we celebrate? Who comes next month? Do you know Evan? Yes. Who? Jonah. <laughs> Not Jonah. Jesus. Next month on Christmas, we celebrate that, that Jesus came and he is the very best king ever. And he taught us that we can find peace on earth at any time, no matter what, in any situation, just by looking around and being so thankful for everything that we have and finding ways to thank God for those things and to share them with others. Well, that sounds like a pretty good message as we're about get to get ready for Thanksgiving. What do you think, Evan? Does that sound like a pretty good message? Yes. <laughs> and especially this year, when we really need to find some hope. We really need to find some peace. That we can look forward to that Jesus is coming in December and that he can show us how to have peace right now. That we need some hope right now and that we can find a way to be so thankful even when Thanksgiving doesn't look like what we want. So let's find some ways right now to be thankful. Do you want to sing some Thanksgiving songs with me? Yes. Yeah. All right. The first one that we like to sing is, It's good to give thanks to the Lord. It's good to give thanks to the Lord. It's good to give thanks. It's good to give thanks. It's good to give thanks to the Lord. And another one we love to sing has, you have to think of one, two, three things to be thankful for. Evan, what's something you're thankful for? Cookies, that's a great thing to be thankful for. What's something else you're thankful for? Hmm, I forget. You forget? How about kitties? Huh. Kitties. And let's see, I'm <laughs> thankful for family. So we've got cookies, kitties, and family. And so we add it into our song, it's, and it goes, Thank you, God, for giving us cookies. Thank you, God, for giving us kitties. Thank you, God, for giving us family right where we are. Oh, I'm upside down. <laughs> and then the next part goes, Alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Right where we are. So that's a song you can sing as a family. And everybody can take a turn thinking of one, two, three things that you're thankful for. So we hope you have a great Thanksgiving, just you and your family. <laughs> have fun, whether you make a traditional Thanksgiving or order in some tacos or grill some salmon. <laughs> Find lots of ways to be thankful and ask Jesus to bring peace into your family as we await the fun and festive Christmas season. Have a great Thanksgiving week, friends. Bye, friends. Bye.